Alright, hello guys, I wanted to talk about the upcoming pattern through about April 5th, we're going to be talking about the temperature pattern that's going to be going on in the United States. I wanted to start off with today though, March 25th, you can see we have warm temperatures for the southeastern and mid-Atlantic and kind of the southern portions of the northeast United States. It's really been 70s in a lot of areas, I know here it's been about 70, been really, really nice. Uh, you can see that there's cold to the north of us. Now we're going to move on to tomorrow the 6th and you see that the cold does move in in, in a kind of weak form. It's just going to be about 6 degrees colder uh, than yesterday, maybe 10, something like that, something around those lines. Uh, and, and it's going to be a little bit noticeable but not too bad. Now we're going to move on to the 29th of March and you can see that warm is back in the central and eastern United States with the exception of the south southeastern United States. Very weak amount of cold there. Uh, but nevertheless, it is a little bit below average in those states. Then we're going to move on to April 1st, and you can see that a lot of cold moves into the South Central, Southeastern, the Eastern United States in general, New England, the, the Great Lakes region of the United States, all these areas, and, and it's a little bit more of an intense cold. You, know, you see, we see a lot of those purples and pinks in some areas. That's where we're really going to see some colder temperatures, uh, maybe maybe 20 degrees uh, Fahrenheit below average for this day at least. So it should be relatively cold during this time frame. Now we're going to look at April 5th and you can see this is right around when the cold starts to fizzle out and you can see this is why I don't forecast beyond April 5th is because it looks like a mess. Uh, you, you can't really decipher anything from what I'm showing you right here. It's just cold all over the place, warm all over the place, and this really doesn't help me get an idea of anything at this point. So this means that the model is um, kind of confused at this point what the temperatures are going to look like. Uh, and we'll just have to wait and see what the pattern is going to look like after the first. Uh, and, and really, it's going to probably stay cold for a couple days there, but after that, it's a question mark. Uh, beyond maybe April 3rd what the pattern will look like that's why you should definitely subscribe and stay tuned to my channel and I will continue to give you guys content on what I expect is going to happen uh, with the temperatures moving forward anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you in the next one